Welcome back to Lunate Made Fun. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute um, gingerbread man charm. It is very simple and very easy to make. It only You only need one loom for this, four different colored bands, and I'm going to be using two hooks. So I'm using white for the buttons and this part, brown for the main body, two pink for the cheeks, I just have an extra just in case any of my bands break. And two black for the eyes. And I know that the cheeks look a little bit weird here, but I'm going to show you how to make it properly. This one was just one that I made just to make sure that the design worked. Um, the buttons are optional. Pretty much any part is like whichever color you, you want to use to make this. But I'm going to be using these four colors for this. So let's get started. I'm going to be making this exact gingerbread man. I'm also going to be using two hooks, the original Rainbow Loom um, metal hook, and also this hook as well. It's a fun tip. This is which one it is. I just use it just in case I need it for, like, stretching up bands or, like, anything like that. So let's get started. So also, the two hooks is optional. That is just what I like to use normally. But first, I'm going to start with making the head. And I'm going to be using brown bad bands. So I'm going to put him to the side. And we're going to start with two. I'm going to be using double bands for a majority of this. So I'm going to do two single bands going from the center first to the first on the left. On my first, on the right. Um, make sure that the arrow is pointing away from you and that um, your loom is in its regular configuration. Another two bands. Two bands again. Some of my bands are broken, I don't really know why. And by the way, my colors that I got from this is the camouflage colors, um, is where I got the brown and the black from, from, orig from the original Rainbow Loom bands. And I got the white separately, and it's glow in the dark from Rainbow Loom as well. So we just taking two bands again two bands here in the center to the first on the right and another two rubber bands from here to the middle taking another two single bands and going down this way now we're going to start by making the neck well actually it doesn't really have a neck um so pretty much you just go right into the shoulders which is going from the first pin here to the first here. Again using double bands. One more time. Double bands again. And now we're going to go down three more times with double bands this way. Sides. And in the middle. Now I have gone four times down this way with double brown bands and I'm going to go down five times with double brown bands this way in the middle. I've gone five times with double brown bands down the middle. Now I'm going to take two brown bands again, double bands, and put them from the left pin to the pin in the center. Same again. Just like that. Now this is what our layout should look like so far. Now we're going to make the arms and the legs and I'm going to be doing this on the rainbow loom hook only. So what you want to start by doing is take single brown rubber band and twist it around your hook three times. And then you want to take two single white rubber bands, pull them with your finger here and put the, this band on here and twist it and put it back onto itself. Then we're going to do that twice with our brown rubber bands. So put these loops back on here and then put it back on. As you can see, it's starting to form a little hand. Again, just make sure you get all the loops. Now, you're going to make three more of these, 
for the arms and the legs. And where our arms and legs are going to go is, so this first one here, we're going to put on the first pin here, right where the shoulder is, kind of starts. Now we're going to make another that, go, that will go here and here and here. Now I have all of these bands laid out. So I made the same for the legs, just like this. And now we're going to start putting the bands that are going to be going in the middle. This is how it looks so far. So I'm going to take my hook, I'm going to twist a band on it twice, and pull it from the first on the left over here. Now as you can see, I don't want it stretched out too much, otherwise I would just use my fingers, but I'll try doing that really fast, just to save some time. I'm just putting in our middle bands, just twisting one band upon itself, and going from here to here, here to here. Okay, now I have this single band that was doubled upon itself and stretch it over to this peg, making triangles just like this. You may ask why I'm being so delicate with them. It's because we don't want to have to wrap it around three times, but we don't want them to be too stretched out this time. So now we're going to add a band on the end, twisting it three times on our hook. And putting it on here. And now we are going to put one single band and twist it around twice and putting it from this peg to this peg. Now what we are going to do, oh this one twisted weird, okay, we're going to twist that again, okay, put this here, not as an upside down triangle, so this is how it looks so far. And now we're going to make the cheeks. So you want to take one single brown, brown rubber band and twist it twice, doubling itself. You don't have to do that part quite yet. Twist these cheeks on three times with the pink rubber bands. These are all of these bands are originally from Rainbow Loom. I didn't buy any offline, on online. I mean. They're all what you would get at a craft store. I got these from Michaels. Now I'm going to scoot these on with my single band that was doubled upon itself. Put these loops on. Now, I'm going to take this off with my fingers and put this on here. Spread the cheeks out evenly. And I'm going to do the same thing for the eyes but using a black rubber band but twisting it around four times instead of three making four loops just like this now do it again I have this loop on i want you to do is the same for the other to make the other eye one two three four five take a single band double it upon itself stretch it out a little bit just to make sure that it's not going to break while you're doing this put these loops on just like so and here's one um then after, put it on here and on this side as well. Now, we have our eyes, our cheeks, and all of our other bands on. Pause the, you might want to pause the video and check your layout just to make sure that it is, it is the same as this one. So this is how it should look, bands doubled upon itself here, and then your legs going down five times with double bands on both sides, four times I mean, and then five down the middle. So now we're going to start looping. I'm turn my loom around just like this. I'm going to go in to the, to the top cap band, grab the top two, and pull over to this pin, which in my case it is this one to this one. Um, it's okay if it's not the exact same, it'll still loop the same, looping up. But before we loop, I'm sorry, I forgot about this, we're going to add the buttons in the middle. Twist your bands around three times for this, putting it 
on the center. I'm going to be making four buttons. So I'm just going to undo this really fast. The buttons are optional, but I'm going to show you how to if you want to. So basically what you do is twist a band, a single band on your hook three times to make this. And what you do is you just put it onto here. I'm not going to do it with my fingers just so I don't stretch out the bands too much. Now I'm going to do the same thing for these two. Okay, I am back. So I have put my buttons on, so twisting a single band around three times. So now I'm going to start looping everything all together. I'm going to show you these middle bands because it is a little bit more complicated. So what we're going to start by doing is taking these bottom two. Make sure you've looped these two first. If not, that's okay if it's in a different order. But what you want to do instead of putting it on top is we want to make the buttons stick out a little bit more. So what you want to do is just take it off. You could even make the buttons after looping as well. But I did it this way. And then we just put the button back on top after it is looped once. Then we go through the button and loop up, but not to the peg quite yet. Taking our band off, putting it back on, and doing the same thing for these two. But first I'm going to put this back on, if I can. Okay, there we go. Now do the same thing for these two. So now I have this all looped, except we're going to do this top one really fast. Same thing, we put the button on top, just so it stick out a bit better, and look just like this. I got this idea from, oh, what's the, um, Is Delicious Designs, I'm pretty sure, from her Nutcracker design. That's where I got that idea from, just so that the buttons stick out a bit more. Um, so that's where I got that from. So now we're going to go in, grab these bottom two, and loop up. So we're just going to be looping up as normal. What the heck is happening here? Okay. There. Making sure that these make a teardrop shape. So now we're just going to loop these up to this peg, and these up to this peg, as normally. Okay, so now I just need to grab these bottom two for the shoulders and loop up to the center peg. Same thing on this side. Just make sure you're not snagging any other bands, which I just did, and I said not to. <laughs> so grab these bottom two, make sure it's only two that you're grabbing. Make sure that everything is all in the loop, which is what, this is what I have so far. And I'm going to start by grabbing these top two and pulling them over and then here to here, here to here. Okay, so here I have these bands looped. I also have all of these looped. We're going to take these two and loop up these bottom two, loop up these bottom two, loop up these bottom two, and loop. Just like this, and now we are finished. So I'm going to take one single brown rubber band. Okay, so now I have, I'm going to take one single brown rubber band. If you want to be even more safe, I would take two, just in case one breaks and you have another one that will keep everything all together. So go through, simply making a slit knot, whoops. Grabbing this bottom one, pulling up to make a slit knot, or you can just put the bottom one forward. Now we're going to take our gingerbread man off. As you can see, we can move our loom to the side. I can take my hook out of here because everything's all looped. You're going to push the eyes forward, just like this, and put the cheeks forward as well. Straighten everything out a little bit, just like so. So that is how you make this really cute gingerbread charm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked the video and comment down below if you guys made this charm. And what you guys would like me to make next. Thank you so much for watching.